Hi, I'm Jane Ozan and I've been asked by various friends to help them create a sacred safe space at home where they might feel able to connect with God. Now, I believe that God goes with us wherever we are, but I do recognise that sometimes it's really important to have a safe, sacred space at home. So I'm going to give you a few tips and uh, I hope they're a blessing to you. The first thing to do is to find a place where you feel at home and at peace. For me, that's in the window box in my uh, lounge, which overlooks my garden. And it's a place where I do an awful lot of writing. So it's a place where I'm very familiar with and uh, I do a lot of my thinking. And if you've got one, you might want to light a candle. I find candles uh, are alive and living and uh, the flame draws me in. It allows me to focus on that and to think of how it overcomes the darkness. If you haven't got a candle, don't worry, maybe choose your favourite lamp. Um, something that uh, dispels darkness. Now on the table I've put pictures of, uh, that's my late father, someone who loved me a lot and who I, I loved. And I have a place here in Guernsey where I often go, where I feel completely at peace and at calm. I've got a few special things that mean a lot to me, my cross that was made for me and a stone that was given to me with hope. And then actually perhaps something um, which you might smile at, but that little toy there, that little ball is a present that's brought to me each morning by my uh, one of my kittens. It's his favourite toy and it's basically a sign of how much he loves me. And uh, that's what this is all about, being reminded that we are loved and lovable. So you can then sit back, close your eyes and just pour out your heart to God. Say what's on your mind, say what your concerns and your worries are, say what you're angry about, say who you're anxious about. Lift up those who you love and you want God to draw near to. If you find words are difficult, well, just picture them in your mind's eye and, uh, and, and think about them. And then if you can, Try and still your heart and be quiet. Look at the candle flame if you can. And ask if God has anything that um, uh, you should hear. And then if you want to, you might want to say the Lord's Prayer as follows. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May God bless you and keep you and all you love safe. Amen.